for you to change it at, at your discretion is not fair to the rest of us in, on this council. You <coughs> have seven members here, not just one. Councilman, what I would say is my right as the chairman is to set the agenda. You're not done. I get to set the agenda. The, rest, the majority of the council gets to either approve it, modify it, or reject it. My, I, under the charter, I have the right to vote on council matters. Under Robert's rules, in the Tuesday meeting, other than passing the gavel, I can't make a motion or engage in debate without turning over the gavel. So how I speak, how I speak, is putting things on the agenda that I may want to bring before. Yes, I do. I said, you have the right to I have the right to bring it forward. But it, hold on, let me speak. Let me speak. I put it on the agenda. Now, if, no, if the council, that's why we, and this is the same point I was making at the last meeting, we get to the motion to accept the agenda. I can turn that inside out, upside down, change it whichever way that the majority of the council wants. But you didn't give us that opportunity. Certainly. We went through that last week. Yes, you have right that right you right. have that ability tomorrow. Through the chair, you, you remove mayor's communication from this agenda. My my issue is is you say you have the ability to govern Robert's rules and the charter are two totally different things. Robert's rules is the meeting. And I believe 100% you have the right to run the meeting. However, I don't believe you have the authority to remove something from the agenda without it being voted upon. If you don't like something this that's is, put on there, you should this be is on the there. Proposed, this is the proposed agenda. If people don't like what I put in the proposed agenda. Did you notify them that you were doing that? No. Okay. There's this is the reason question. why we're talking about it, because this is a public meeting. Okay. This is when we have the discussion. Sure. And honestly, Tim, that's why I tried to reach out to you twice. You reached out to me yesterday. And, and I reached out to you on March 7th. And you Thank reached you. out to me a second time and said, hey, let's get together. I said, okay, great. So, I never reached out to any of us. <laughs> and, and I do that on purpose because if four of us have a conversation, we're not doing it in a public meeting. That's what we're doing here. What is right the now? benefit of removing mayor's communication when the day this city was created, it is on there. It was on there when you were the chairman before. And now all of a sudden, it's not, it, it shouldn't be on there. The I reason it's not on there is to make the point. And, and when you said whether or not transparency, we, how is that transparent? Well, why did you, again, you're getting upset. Just I am upset. Upset. When Because I feel like you're attacking my my department. Like, I, I would do the same thing if and, I was And you're attacking, attacking, you at the last meeting were attacking legislative branch. I was? Yes. You I asked, wanted to know you asked corporation council. Yes, we have the right thing. to remove an item. We certainly do. Absolutely. I, did, I wasn't arguing that. I had a problem with the fact that you guys, or you, I should say, you made a motion, you changed the agenda. And I thought it should have been on the agenda. On Tuesday. No, it was, it, was, it was on the agenda. You removed, it was on Tuesday, it was, it was lined out of there. Uh, Jill made the motion to accept the agenda. Once I said something, then she rescinded her, no, no, no. her motion I mean, look back to at make it. a motion to accept the agenda with minutes. mine on there. Here's what Vote on it. That's no, here's, you don't, here's it was on there. there. Tim, it was on there. There was a line through there, there, and the original agenda was made. Well, that's, I mean, that's what the chair, that wasn't, uh, it wasn't changed. It wasn't changed from what was sent in on Friday. The item was removed. And it was there was, was a line through it. So it, the motion that was to made approve the agenda, the agenda that would not have been on there. The, the the motion was to approve the agenda with the following amendments, which would have removed the item. Yes. Right. That's why we go through approval of the agenda. Right. This is what we were talking but about. There was a removal of that agenda item with no communication from my office at all. Not that you have to, but I just thought that would have been a professional. That's what it, that's what I felt that we had talked about on Monday. And so we had it drafted up. Now, Jill did not have to, to make that motion. And that's why we went kind of back and forth once she understood your feelings on it. And then ultimately, right, we have 
approve the agenda as presented, which had the item on there. And then when we got to that agenda item, it was incorrectly worded. So again, trying to drive you know, to the resolution, and then we were postponed. Which that could have been done in the first place. But my issue was, is I thought we, 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 we overstepped that landmine. I thought we were, you know, we worked it out, we had our differences or whatever, we worked it out, and then I get the agenda, and Mayor's communi communications is completely off the agenda. To me, I thought that was a, a total slap in the face. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to call it the way I see it. That's the way I said so. Well, I was more than happy to talk sure. about it tonight. Can I get more? Can I, can I cut you a chase on this? And this issue came up previously, so I did do some research on the issue as to who has a right to set the agenda. And the answer to that question, I think, from my legal opinion, is no one person has the right to set the agenda. Not the council chair, not the mayor. If the agenda is determined by this council as a body, as a whole. Um, the chair of the council. And, and that, and uh, that, and that is. Interrupt him. Chair has the right to preside over the council meeting, and you determine what goes on during the meeting. But as far as removing things from the agenda, you cannot remove things. You don't have a legal right to remove things. That's only this body as a whole. The council can do that. It's up to if, if the mayor wants to put something on the agenda, if any council member wants to put something on the agenda, any department head wants to put something on the agenda, it goes on the agenda. It's not up to this council. To vote whether or not they want to proceed with that item or not vote on it or postpone it to a different meeting. But it's the council as a whole, as a whole body, that has control of that agenda, not any one person. And I reviewed the city charter, I reviewed Robert's rules in detail, I reviewed the Open Meetings Act, and that's the only conclusion you can come to that setting the agenda is determined by the council as a whole. Mr. Chairman? I agree.
council chairperson, no matter who it was, hypothetically, wasn't in agreement with what I put on there, was totally against something that I put on there, what would stop that council person, that council chairperson, from just removing it from the agenda altogether? And I don't think they have the power to do that. And that's the one thing that really concerns me about this issue. Yeah, so, of course, things that would come in usually on Monday, mm -hmm. right? And it's an open business item, right? And then you have to, in order to it to be acted on, you would talk to one council person and at least one other to get them to introduce the resolution and then have it supported. That's the legislative process. So much like you just said, you're going to protect the executive branch, I'm going to protect the legislative branch. If you look at, you know, the state of the state, 